Hello viewers, are currently watching this video in the past, present, and future. Uh, last episode, we got interrupted with a phone call, so I couldn't finish going up the frickin' tower. Now I continue trying to go up the frickin' tower. <laughs> I feel like I remember getting this first or second try. When I first went through this game. See, I have a goal of, like, knowing absolutely everything about this game, like, ever, that any fan would ever want to know. I want to be, like, an encyclo encyclopedia for this game. Not just simple stuff. I want to know the names of every freaking NPC, what every single shrine contains, everything. I freaking love this game so much. Oh! Hey, look. There's a way I can go up there. That I never saw. Okay. Alright. So that, yeah, that was easier than I thought it was. <laughs> Alright. I guess I can save those bomb arrows for something when I, when I, whenever I need them. I kind of don't want to leave aggro behind, but I kind of have to. <laughs> well, I, I don't have to, but I, I'm i going to fly off the top of the tower so I can get closer to Heitano faster. So I guess this is going to be the Heitano episode. I just realized that I just completely skipped over Kakariko Village. You know what? This is going to be the Kakariko Village episode, then. Okay, I'm going to save this spot as a fast travel point, and then I'm going to teleport to, uh, Kakariko again. And I'll take, and I'll take a Pona to Kakariko. Alright, here we go. We got the map now. Does this spread to the, the Nehru Mountains? Yes, I think it does. Yep, alright. Cool. Doesn't go into the wetlands, though. I, no, I believe the wet wetlands... The Nehru Wetlands... ...is above Kakariko. So it wouldn't it would definitely wouldn't cover that. Alright, filling out the map. Alright. So now I have that as a fast travel point. Because in my other master mode account, I've already gone through everything in Kakariko that I want to do. So, for some reason, in my brain, I'd already done all of Kakariko stuff in this version, without thinking about it. Alright. Uh, three or four days until, uh... Actually, I think three. Yeah, three days until the uh, big Splatfest thing uh, for Splatoon. Definitely gonna stream that. That's gonna be fun. I'm going to be doing a lot of Splatoon stuff <laughs> when that comes out, Splatoon 2. I played the original Splatoon, like, way too much. Alright. The opponent doesn't trust me all the way yet. <laughs> See, the, the whole horse bond thing is awesome about this game. I've already gotten the chest on top of there, so there's no point in screwing around with that. 
Those Octoroks aren't gonna do anything but look angry at me. <laughs> it's always gotta be raining. I have to do the thing with hates you. I just want to do that now. I did that in my other account already. I did that with Wolflink, in fact, on my other account. Should I get Wolflink in here, or should I just try to go through this game on my own a little more? Wolflink makes everything a lot easier. So I don't know if that can be considered cheating. But there's three black ones. You know how hard that's gonna be? I'm gonna wait for this uh, rain to be over. It's gonna be over in a couple seconds. Whoa! I don't have enough arrows. I need to buy arrows from Kakariko. Oh, never mind. It's gonna be another minute. Or so until the rain goes away. See, every minute in this game is a second in real life. So every hour in this game is a minute in real life. It's gonna be another. Well, actually, at this point, it's gonna be another thirty se thirty seconds for thirty minutes to pass for, until the rain is done. I feel like that's a good system because you can tell how long it's gonna be in real life for things to happen. Rather than just being really weird amounts that are, like don't make any sense really, it's like random numbers. It's not easy to calculate when it's actual real world. Oh hey, I do have some arrows. Oh yeah, because I killed that dude and he had arrows. All right, range should be over any second now. Here it goes. You can see the last few drops just popping down. Yay, we're all gonna die! Oh, one guy's already off the cliff. Alright. Shoot, I didn't mean to stab the ground! I'm not being attacked from two different sides. Don't catch me on fire here. Buddy, lose that thing. Ah! I'm gonna die if I don't heal. Okay, haste might be a good idea, but it doesn't heal me, like at all. I guess I'll use the one that heals five freaking hearts. There we go. And I didn't even, I only knocked one of them off a cliff, I think. Pretty sure I didn't knock the other guy off the cliff. The tower did it in my other account, I just knocked them all off cliffs. Well, getting those maracas back. See, my friend Sean is up. he uh. He got bored with this game. He played it for a little while, he played through Hitano, and he did the whole, one whole Divine Beast quarter of the game. But then he got bored with the game, and stopped playing. I got him back for you, bub. You're all good. Alright, now I can upgrade my stuff, which I... Definitely, I'm gonna def definitely I'm going to need. I have a Gorok seed, bub. Yeah, I can have one. stash. <laughs> That'll be helpful. I don't need to see that again. I 
I think I know now who Grandpa is. But that, perple that perplexed me at the start of the game. When I first started playing, I mean. Hey, Pona. <sighs> Come on. Pona's well, not the smartest. Like I'm I'm leaving I was leaving her on autopilot, so she should find a way through herself. So she did that herself. Oh, this is the fastest she goes through this area. Alright. Great taking this cuckoo. I'm gonna get a head start on that side quest. Where I have to get all the cuckoos for that guy. Uh, stuff I can buy. How many rupees do I have? 78. How much stuff do I have to sell, though? A good amount of stuff. I might be able to buy a new shirt to replace this switch shirt. Sadly, that switch shirt needs replacing. <laughs> He's not have that much use, anyways, besides selling. That's why you almost always tell them. Alright, what do I got here? Only 120? Yeah, I'll buy that. It's slightly better than mine right now. So we have... That's the exact same one that I have on right now. I don't have any headwear, so... It's only 60 rupees. That's good. Yeah, yeah, I see it. Yeah. Yeah, it's the stuffy stuff. I don't, you don't really use that. I mean, I use it a lot, but I don't think I need it that much here because they see me very easily. So I don't know. It might be even more useful because of that. Actually, I don't know. It's I. Whoa! He's got an apple! Take cover! <laughs> and then they see I have a Sheikah Slate, and then they realize that I am Link from a hundred years ago. <laughs> I ran into one of them. A man. <laughs> There's way too much fan art for this character. <sighs> All right. Voice acting time. Oh shoot. Sorry, Japanese. I keep forgetting to change that. I want to hear the game in Japanese at one point, and I just never changed it back for some reason.
Can I change it back after this scene right here? Because there's a there's a really big cutscene coming up, and I wanna I want it to be normal. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to save and I'm going to exit for a sec, just to change the options, to uh, change it to English. Alright. Here we go. Alright, here's the big cutscene. Big cutscene number two, as I like to say. The history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of Calamity Ganon, a primal evil that has endured over the ages. This evil has been turned back time and time again by a warrior wielding the soul of a hero and a princess who carries the blood of the goddess. With the passage of time, each conflict with Ganon faded into legend. So listen closely as I tell you of this legend that occurred 10,000 years ago. Hyrule was then blossoming as a highly advanced civilization. Even the most powerful monsters posed little threat to the denizens of the realm. The people thought it wise to utilize their technological prowess to ensure the safety of the land, should Calamity Ganon ever return. They constructed four mechanical wonders that came to be known as the Divine Beasts. They also built a legion of autonomous weapons called Guardians. The Divine Beasts were piloted by four individuals of exceptional skill from across the land. And thus, the plan to neutralize Ganon was forged. Upon Ganon's inevitable return to Hyrule, the princess and the hero fought alongside these four champions against this ancient evil. The Guardians were tasked with protecting the hero as the Divine Beasts unleashed a furious attack upon their terrible foe. 
Come on, I was ruining the cutscene by going online. And when the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness delivered his final blow, the princess used her sacred power to seal away Calamity Ganon. Alright, I think that's it. It's kind of funny, you just kind of came online there. Yeah. I kind of understand, but... That's just kind of funny. <laughs> Did you get the DLC? I understand what the Divine Beats are. I mean, people might not, but they'll see. I, I, can, I can tell them. And I know that, but I'll, and I'll show the people. The, peop the people who don't know can see for themselves when I do them. Alright, so I'm going to go to Hitana. The plan is to go to Hitana. And after that, I'm just going to randomly explore and whichever Divine Beast I happen upon first, I'll do. Okay, I just need one more, actually. Come on. Oh, okay. You know what? Whatever. It's on the roof. It's close enough. I'll put it in there after I come out. Actually, it's probably not going to be there or whatever. So, yeah, this is going to be the big Kakariko episode. But that cutscene, that whole cutscene section took up a lot of it. Alright, let's learn how to play this game even though I already have over 270 hours in the game. Oh, hey. Chests over there. I'm probably gonna get those quick right now. This is the, uh, tutorial, the combat tutorial. Full shield, mate. Hoi, frick, I have a really good shield. <laughs> Just a sec, bub. I'm gonna get myself that eight full blade out. Actually, vocal club. Okay, side hop. Backflip is probably gonna say next. Yep. He's trying to make sure I have the button down. Don't want to waste too much durability when I don't have to. And then for re rush. Oh wait no. Spin attack. I just realized I just realized that I've been doing flurry rushes. 
There we go. Got new guardian weapons, because I had to get rid of that one. You have done well to learn these crucial skills. Now proceed. Like, I was going to do a whole bunch of side quests in this place. It's going to be like the Kakariko episode where I do almost everything you can do in Kakariko, but the video's almost already over. <laughs> or about 25 minutes in right now. So, I guess that's not happening. Leaves more for other episodes, I guess. See, I don't know. If I... If I complete this game here, I think after I complete the game, I'm probably going to stop, you know, recording it and stuff. I'm just going to do it on my own because it's going to be my main account after I'm done. Skip. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now I have enough to get another heart. Or should I get stamina? I feel like I should get hearts. It's very important to do uh, as many uh, as many shrines as possible in master mode because it's that's how you advance through the game. That's how you get stronger. Like mainly, how you get stronger is getting a lot of uh, hearts. So after I get this uh, heart, I might end the episode. Yeah, that. Okay, I can get the quest now. From Kado. Sound effect, though. Alright. More stamina is also very important for like climbing and stuff. See, I might get stamina like using the uh, the uh, big frick uh, that statue in a uh, near Hiteno. Alright, done with this episode.